2021 is upon us and there is no better way to start off the Disney Cars diecast mainline than with a legend racer from the 1950s Piston Cup era and of course that is exactly what Floyd Morgan is here and before we dive into the review this is the first video I've recorded in about two months I am back from college now guys so no more pre-recorded videos these will all be freshly recorded so I hope you guys are looking forward to a little bit of a new era here on the Disney Docket channel looking forward to the 12 days of Christmas and a couple of surprises along the way but yeah guys he here is in 2021 case a for singles I will not be unboxing that case because unfortunately I have no way of getting it Get Me Collectibles, my main supplier for that kind of stuff, is not getting the cases in because they are all going to Target and Walmart stores, at least for the United States. And that's kind of what they do for the first few cases of the year. And then as the year goes on, Target and Walmart, basically, they're just not as much of a hog later on in the year. So we will be doing case unboxings in the future. But instead, I will be doing a case breakdown slash analysis. I'm just working on getting all the cars from the case and then we'll go through all of them, talk about them and you know, it'll basically be the same thing as a case unboxing just without the unboxing part, which is a little sad, but I hope you guys are still looking forward to it. But yeah, they do kind of identify the 2021 mainline, which as you can see has different packaging from the blue desert that we're used to, which obviously you guys should know what that looks like, but they are identifying it with this metal logo here, which I don't really want to call this like the metal line. Like people say like that's blue desert. This is not the metal line. Like everything's metal. They're just emphasizing now that these are really die cast metal cars and not plastic like a lot of toys are these days. I am calling this desert horizon and I hope you guys like that name. My friends and I are calling it that and I hope it sticks. Desert Horizon versus Desert Blue Desert or anything. But I think it looks really cool. A little hazy in the background, simplistic. The big art though is really what matters and I like that. Also for 2021, they're identifying which cars are new. And so far they've been accurate, but I have a feeling that they're going to put this on a car that they have already made before or in like a multi-pack that kind of sneaks up on them. But for Floyd Morgan, they got it right here. New Novo Nuevo Novo 2021. Love it. Now we'll talk a little bit more about Floyd here as the video goes on, but he has been canceled before in 2019. Well, he was canceled. Wait, let me get this straight. He was revealed in 2019 canceled for the 2021 or no the 2020 mainline my bad and now released in the 2021 mainline so he was revealed basically a little over a year ago we waited and waited for him he never showed up but i mean i'm not gonna complain like it literally has just been a year and he's here now so no big deal and also they are breaking the cars up into movie instead of series this time around so as you can see here it says as seen in Cars 3. Again, something, another like classification that they could get wrong, Mattel could easily get wrong. And they did already get it wrong with Rusty's Lightning McQueen, who they put in Cars 2. They probably thought it was like Hudson Horn, Piston Cut McQueen. So that's the first one they screwed up on, but hopefully, hopefully they don't do that again. But on the back, you can see Smokey, Jackson Storm, Rusty's Cruz Ramirez, Bumper Safe Tractor, H. Day Hollis, Pushover, Jambalaya Chimichanga, and Sheldon Shifter. Now, all of these are in the first case, except for Rusty's Cruise. But Rusty's Cruise is in, actually, I think, yeah, that's the track damage cruise they're calling. Yeah, although the damage really should be on the other side. That's why we can't see it. Okay, so yeah, all these are in the first case. So that does make sense. I like that. I like that they're putting more stuff on the back of the package these days because. You know, in 2020, it kind of fell by the wayside. Like some of the packages only had like one car and it was something that had been released ages ago. But I'll be right back here with Floyd Morgan all opened up. So here is Floyd Morgan out of the package and he looks fantastic. You know, these legends, you know, whatever you want to call them, retro racers, old gen, whatever it is, I've really fallen in love with them. They have become great assets to the line. I'm so glad Cars 3 introduced them because obviously, you know, they release a ton of 
stuff that just kind of gets repetitive, like silver cars, lots of repaints these days. But what's great about the Legends is that so far, we have not gotten a single repaint. All of these that you see here, all the Legends, are unique models so far. Now, I'm sure that will change here very shortly, but think about it, guys. For the Piston Cup Racers, you know, these are Piston Cup Racers. Like, let me stress the point. These are Piston Cup Racers. For Cars 1 and then obviously all the other Cars 3 Piston Cup Racers, they fall into three categorical models. Like in Cars 1, you know, you had Nitroid, Leakless, and RPM or Octane Gate, whatever you want to call that last one there. And then for Cars 3, you have like the Cal Weathers model, the Reb Meeker model, and like the Brick Yardley model. Or you could say like the Bobby Swift model instead of Reb Meeker. So six models so far, like for the stock car piston car racers. And then you have two models for next gens. That's pretty lazy. That's eight total. Now, if we look here, we have more than eight total for just this singular facet of retro racers. And I absolutely love that. Mattel has put a lot of work into these and obviously Disney and Pixar did as well. So let's just dive right in. Of course, let me just put to bed real quick. People might argue and say Duke Coulter's here is the same as Floyd Morgan. No, he's not. So let me just put that to bed and we'll get into it. But anyways, there is Floyd Morgan in the movie. Granted that I can find him in the movie. He's just a background racer, but one of the cooler ones, in my opinion. I really do like his teal and white paint job. Now, of course, he's got this little smile, like a little smirk. You can kind of see down there, but nothing too special. What's really unique about him is that his headlights are separate from everything. They're just kind of plastic pieces out here sticking out. And it looks really cool. He's got this little push bar up here as well, or a little guardrail, whatever you want to call it. I like the turquoise trim around his wheels there. And he's got a little tread to him as well. The front ones are smaller than the back ones. One of his sponsors is Jen's Diner. So it's probably a local diner in Thomasville or wherever. He's got Southern Gold Gasoline, which is a very popular sponsor. You know, pretty much all of the retro racers had some Southern Gold, especially Jet Robinson, who was probably you know, the most sponsored by them. You have Randy Lawson here, who has... <laughs> I guess Randy Lawson does not have it. Let's check Slim Hood. Slim Hood has it there. So you guys get the idea. Leroy Hemming, no. Eli Turnpike. Huh. I totally thought more of them had it, but I guess I'm just in an illusion. But yeah, a lot of them do have it. That is my point here. Duke does not, by the way. He's got this weird number here, 4A. Like we rarely ever, well actually we've never seen a letter as a part of a number. So that's kind of interesting. I guess it's something they did back in the 1950s. 4A seems kind of strange, but you know, I like it. I like how they add the depth to it. A little black shadow, looks good. You have his signature right there, Floyd Morgan. I like his side view mirror here. Again, a little plastic piece, just like the headlights. Now these little black ropes around his engine keeping the hood down are actually raised off the paint like they're not just painted on so you can feel them. Same thing with these side here like the little vents coming out of the engine. I like that a lot. He has kind of like a little exhaust pipe here on either side that is incorporated into the base. Thorson Trucking Company and Motor Oil are other sponsors of his. And we've seen both of those before. So again, nothing too new. And if I could find them, oh my gosh, I totally have seen them before. Motor Oil is very, very popular. I guess I did say that about Southern Gold Gasoline, but I actually mean it this time. Motor Oil. Oh my gosh, I'm embarrassing myself right now. Motor Oil, where are you? Hmm. Motor oil's on Slim Hood, though. I know that. Where's Thorson? I feel like, okay, I know what I'm actually thinking about. So we'll get to that later. I'm thinking of the tributes, which we'll get to later. Sorry about that, guys. On the back here, you have the little bolts around the trunk, or yeah, the trunk back here, 4A again, and you have Southern Gold and Motor Oil. His license plate reads HO1-08E. 
So whoever's birthday is January 8th with the initials H-E, let me know. Can never figure out who they are, even though pretty much all the Cars 3 character license plates have a number like that, like an initials and birthday. The date stamp up here reads N30A, which means he was produced in the 30th week of 2020 at the A factory. N for the year, 30 for the week, A for the factory. Really cool car all around. I'm so glad he got uncanceled. It's really great. You know, I don't even know if we can technically call this a cancellation because it really has just been a year. And even though he was revealed and wasn't released like within a year, yeah, it was definitely over a year. But still, though, give Mattel credit for coming back to him because, you know, a lot of cars that they canceled along with Floyd, like some tractors, some other things, they were great cars like easy repaints too like the tractors come on you could easily repaint some tractors for us so hopefully now we'll get some of those cars they just were probably waiting on them 2020 was definitely a down year for cars and so far it seems like 2020 is going to be a blast and i mean 2021 not 2020 let's not do 2020 over again but anyways let's uh compare him to duke coulters here now yeah they are very similar but of course they are quite different too Duke's got a little bit more of a squared off model, as you can see there in the hood, where as Floyd's a little bit more angular, a little circular, triangular, whatever you want to call it. The grills are different. Duke's got a more hefty duty push bar, guardrail. He's got like belt buckles over the hood versus two little black ropes. Rims are different. Both have that side view mirror there. Yeah, Duke's a much bigger car. He's got the fenders in the back here. Floyd does not. Which one of these two is your favorite, though? Because I feel like they are quite comparable. I would probably go with Duke. I like the colors better, but I have a little recency bias toward Floyd Morgan. I do like the pale green. It's like a mint chocolate green. Mint chocolate chip. Now I'll be right back with Floyd with his Thomasville Tribute Racer. Okay, so the reason I kept thinking that sponsors were a little bit more abundant on these racers than they actually were, you know, I was like, oh my God, Southern Gold Gasoline's like on all the racers. It's because I was kind of confusing them with the Legend Tributes here, which was a Walmart exclusive line a couple years ago where modern day racers took on the paint jobs of the retro racers in order to honor them. Now, what's kind of funny is that a lot of those tributes came out before the actual racers they were trying to honor. And perfect scenario here is Parker Brakeston for Floyd Morgan, who came out nearly two years ago. And obviously, he is trying to honor Floyd Morgan. The colors are off. Like, it's definitely a lighter turquoise over here. This is a much darker green. But all the decals are the same. Like, you can see here, Jen's Diner. Thorson Trucking Company. Now look how much clearer the decals are. This is a Chinese release and obviously now everything's made in Thailand or Vietnam. And you can just tell how much blurrier and grainier the decals are. And it's really disappointing to see, like especially here, like that is clear as day. Can't say the same for that. And it's quite disappointing because it just looks so good before. Ooh, hold on a second. So I just noticed this, it says Pilot Mountain, North Carolina. And I was like, where is the equivalent of that on Floyd? And if you look closely, it is there. It's just in very faint lettering. I don't know why they chose it to be. It's basically in this color font, but way brighter. Hmm. It is there though. Interesting. From this side, you probably wouldn't even think they were the same. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. <laughs> also, they screwed him up and put H.J. Hollis's name, even though his name is Parker Brakeston. Silly Mattel. Silly, silly, silly. But yeah, that is all for Floyd Morgan. We're going to pull up the whole squadron here of Legends, Junior Moon, Eli Turnpike, River Scott. Now, River Scott actually is more of a similar model to Floyd, but they're still very different. 
Their rims are actually quite similar though with the treads on the outside. But so far so good in terms of new castings for the Legends. Like I said, we have not gotten a repaint and hopefully it stays that way though, but I really don't think it will. And I don't expect it to. I mean, I don't expect every single car to be a unique model that's not realistic. And also, if we want to get more of these, Mattel is not going to be able to afford making a new casting every time. I think Randy Lawson is going to be the first one that gets repeated because this new Duck Fauntleroy, something like that, basically Donald Duck in Spanish. He is getting released soon and he looks very similar to Randy Lawson, but it will be difficult to tell until we get a close up. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is my first video back recording in two months. Like, yeah, I know I've done a ton of videos in the meantime, but haven't been in this chair for about two months. Feels great to be back and I can't wait to make more content for you guys. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.